Playing with Power MTG. Powerful cards, powerful formats. Our MoxMaster CDH webcam tournament is this coming Saturday. It is 100% proxy friendly and is played in the comfort of your own home. There is $2,000 in prizes and payouts to top 16. We also pay out to top 32 in points towards our Mox Masters Invitational coming October 27th through the 29th. There are still some tickets left, so sign up today. Now, let's start out by showcasing our fighters this evening. First, we have Cal, piloting Nimrus, Unus Trickster. This is a control deck that uses its commander for card advantage and tries to win with the Thoracle combo. Cal's opening hand contains a Prismatic Vista, Swan Song, Talisman of Dominance, Dark Ritual, Snapcaster Mage, Jeweled Lotus, and an Island. Next, we have Ryan, piloting Magda, Brazen Outlaw. This deck seeks to tap a bunch of dwarves with its commander out and then make a bunch of treasures, then use Magda to search up game-winning combos. Ryan's opening hand contains a Pyroblast, Springleaf Drum, Mountain, Cavern of Souls, Chrome Mox, Ragavan, Nimble Pilferer, and a Dwarven Trader. Next, we have our Mox Pearl patron, Brandon, piloting Marwyn the Nurturer. This is a Storm deck that tries to use untap and pump effects to make Marwyn huge and then create infinite mana to win the game. Brandon's opening hand contains a Stony Strength, Windswept Heath, Elvish Spirit Guide, Utopia Sprawl, Forest, Memory Jar, and his London Mulligan is a Rishkar's expertise. Finally, we have our Mox Pearl patron, Sean, piloting Borborygmos and Fibblethip. This deck tries to assemble infinite mana and bounce its commander to draw its deck and kill its opponents with its ability. Sean's opening hand contains a Gemstone Caverns, Arid Mesa, Mystic Remora, an offer you can't refuse, Lion's Eye Diamond, Flusterstorm, and a Neoform. Without further ado, let's kick off this kooky KFKS king size kindness. Cal has collected the most heart containers and gets to start us off. But Sean has a pregame action, putting Gemstone Caverns onto the battlefield, exiling an offer you can't refuse. Cal draws a card for turn and plays a Prismatic Vista. He cracks it, pays a life, and fetches up a swamp onto the battlefield. He casts Dark Ritual, adding three black. He casts Jeweled Lotus. He casts Talisman of Dominance. He cracks his Jeweled Lotus and uses his Talisman to help cast his commander, Nimrus, Unus Trickster. He passes the turn. Ryan draws and plays a Mountain. He casts a Chrome Mox and Printing Pyroblast. He casts Dwarven Trader. He casts a Springleaf Drum. He casts Ragavan, Nimble Pilferer. He ends his turn. Brandon draws and plays a Windswept Teeth. He cracks it, pays a life, and fetches up a Forest onto the battlefield. He casts Utopia Sprawl, naming green as it enters. He passes to Sean. Sean draws and plays an Arid Mesa. He cracks it, pays a life, and fetches up a Steam Vents onto the battlefield untapped, paying two life. He casts a Mystic Remora. He ships the turn. Cal draws and plays an Island. He casts a Ledger Shredder. He ends his turn. Ryan draws and plays a Cavern of Souls, naming Dwarf as it enters. He casts his commander, Magda, Brazen Outlaw. He taps Dwarven Trader with Springleaf Drum to add a red. Magda triggers and Ryan creates a treasure. He casts Dwarven Blast Miner. Ledger Shredder triggers and Cal connives, discarding Gemstone Caverns. Ryan moves to combat and attacks Sean with Ragavan. Sean takes it and Ragavan triggers. Ryan creates a treasure and then Sean exiles Baron, Master Wizard. Very pleased with leaving that in exile, Ryan passes the turn. Brandon draws and plays a forest. He casts his commander, Marwyn the Nurturer. He passes the turn. During his upkeep, Sean pays for his Remora. He draws and plays a Mana Confluence. He casts Lion's Eye Diamond. He cracks his diamond, discards his hand, and adds three red. He casts his commander, Borborygmos, and Fibblethip. Ledger Shredder triggers and Cal Knives, discarding Snapcaster Mage, giving Shredder a plus one plus one counter. Borborygmos and Fibblethip enter, and Sean draws a card, choosing not to discard anything. He ends his turn. Cal draws and moves to combat. He attacks Ryan with Ledger Shredder. Ryan takes it, and Cal ships the turn. Ryan draws and plays a mountain. He moves to combat and attacks Brandon with everything. Magda triggers three times and Ryan creates three treasures. Brandon takes eight and Ragavan triggers. Ryan creates another treasure and then Brandon exiles Arbor Elf. He passes the turn. Brandon draws and casts an Arachnoid Adaptation targeting Marwyn. Mystic Remora triggers and Sean draws. Then Marwyn gets plus two, plus two and untaps. Brandon casts Stony Strength targeting Marwyn. Ledger Shredder triggers and Cal connives a Mana Drain giving Shredder a counter. Remora triggers and Sean draws. Then Marwan gets a plus one plus one counter and untaps. He casts Garuk, Primal Hunter. Remora triggers and Sean draws again. In response, Cal casts March of Swirling Mist targeting Marwan. Remora triggers and Sean draws. Swirling Mist resolves and Marwan phases out. Then Garuk resolves. Brandon exiles Elvish Spirit Guide from his hand to add a green. He casts Memory Jar. Remora triggers and Sean draws. Brandon ends his turn. During his upkeep, Sean lets his Remora die. He draws and casts Talisman of Curiosity. He moves to combat and attacks Garuk with Borborygmos and Fibblethip. Borborygmos triggers, and Sean draws and discards a land targeting Magda. In response, Ryan activates Magda, sacrificing five treasures to fetch up an adaptive automaton. Automaton enters, naming Dwarf. Still in response, Ryan taps automaton with Springleaf Drum. Magda triggers, and Ryan creates a treasure. Borborygmos and Fibblethip's ability resolves, and Magda dies. With no blocks, Garuk takes six and dies as well. Sean passes the turn. Cal draws and casts Mystic Remora. He casts an Arcane Signet. Ledger Shredder triggers, and Cal connives, discarding Ottawara Soaring City. He ships the turn. Ryan draws and plays an Urza Saga, getting its first counter. He casts his commander, Magda, Brazen Outlaw. 
In response, Sean taps his talisman to help channel Beseju, who endures, targeting adaptive automaton. Automaton is destroyed, and Ryan fetches up a mountain onto the battlefield. Ryan moves to combat and attacks Sean with everything. Magda triggers twice, and Ryan creates two treasures. With no blocks, Sean takes six. Ragaman triggers, and Ryan creates a treasure, and Sean exiles a mana ball. In his second main phase, Ryan taps Magda with Spring Leaf Drum to add a red. Magda triggers, and Ryan creates a treasure. He casts Sean's mana ball. Ledger Shredder and Remora trigger. Cal draws through Remora and then connives a Felwar Stone, giving Shredder a counter. With nothing else, Ryan passes. Before Brandon's untap, Marwyn phases back in. He draws and plays a forest. He casts Birds of Paradise. He cracks his memory jar, and each player exiles their hands and draws seven. Brandon casts a Lotus Petal. Ledger Shredder and Remora trigger. Cal draws through Remora and connives Yogmoth's will, giving Shredder a counter. Brandon casts Beast Within, targeting Magna. In response, Ryan activates Magna, cracking five treasures to fetch up a metallic mimic onto the battlefield, naming Dwarf as it enters. Beast Within resolves, Magna is destroyed, and Ryan creates a 3-3 Beast. Next, Brandon casts Boon of Beseju, targeting Marwyn. Remora triggers, and Cal draws. Then Boon resolves, and Marwyn untaps. Unfortunately, out of gas, Brandon moves to his end step, and Memory Jar triggers. In response, Sean casts Mystical Tutor. Remora triggers, and Cal draws. In response, Cal casts Spell Pierce, targeting Mystical Tutor. Nimrus triggers, Cal looks at the top two, putting Grim Monolith into his graveyard. Still in response, Cal casts Deadly Rollick, targeting Borborygmos and Fibblethip. They get exiled, and Memory Jar's trigger resolves. Each player discards their hand and returns the cards they exile with Memory Jar. Brandon ends the turn. Sean draws and casts a Brainstorm. Remora triggers, and Cal draws. Then Sean draws three and puts two back on top. He plays a Stomping Ground into play untapped, paying two life. He casts an Underworld Breach. Ledger Shredder and Remora trigger. Cal draws through Remora and then connives a Flooded Strand. With no other answers, Underworld Breach resolves. Sean casts Lion's Eye Diamond. Remora triggers and Cal draws. Sean cracks his LED, discards his hand, and adds three blue. He escapes a Spell Seeker. It enters and Sean fetches up a Brain Freeze into his hand. He escapes LED. Remora triggers and Cal draws. Sean casts Brain Freeze with all copies targeting himself. Remora triggers and Cal draws again. Sean then presents a loop of escaping LED and Brain Freeze to mill the table. Sean passes, sacrificing Underworld Breach. One by one, each player attempts to draw from an empty library, and Sean wins the game. The players had so much fun, they decided to play another. In this game, Ryan brings back Magda, Brazen Outlaw. His opening hand contains a Wheel of Fortune, Chrome Mox, Metallic Mimic, Ancient Tomb, Two Mountains, and an Urza Saga. Brandon brings back Marwyn the Nurturer, and his opening hand contains a Fido Burst, Boon of Beseju, Chrome Mox, Lotus Petal, Misty Rainforest, Harmonize, and a Scrib Ranger. Sean brings back Borborygmos and Fibblethip, and his opening hand contains the Land of War Elves, Rhystic Study, Flusterstorm, Invasion of Ikoria, Exotic Orchard, City of Brass, and a Talisman of Curiosity. Cal brings back Nimrus, Una's Trickster, and his opening hand contains a Mental Misstep, an offer you can't refuse, Gemstone Caverns, Dothy Voidwalker, Clearwater Pathway, Arcane Signet, and a Cabal Pit. And Ryan gets to start us off. But Cal has a pre-game action, putting Gemstone Caverns onto the battlefield, exiling Cabal Pit. Ryan draws and plays an Urza Saga, getting its first counter. He casts a Chrome Mox and printing Stoke the Flames. He casts his commander, Magda, Brazen Outlaw. He passes the turn. Brandon draws and plays a Misty Rainforest. He casts a Lotus Petal. He casts a Chrome Mox and printing Scrib Ranger. He cracks his Misty Rainforest, paying a life, and fetching up a forest onto the battlefield. He casts his commander, Marwyn the Nurturer. He ends his turn. Sean draws and plays an Exotic Orchard. He casts a Llanowar Elves. He ships the turn to Cal. Cal draws and plays a Murkwater Pathway. He casts an Arcane Signet. He ends the turn. Ryan draws, and in his first main phase, Urza Saga gets another counter. He moves to combat and attacks Cal with Magda. Magda triggers, and Ryan creates a treasure. Cal takes the hit, and in his second main phase, Ryan plays a mountain. He passes the turn. Brandon draws and casts a kick, Vines of Vastwood, targeting Marwyn, giving her plus four, plus four until the end of turn. He casts Boon of Beseju, targeting Marwyn, giving her plus three, plus three until the end of turn, untapping her. He casts Fido Burst, targeting Marwyn, giving her plus five, plus five. He casts Harmonize, drawing three cards. He casts Rishkar's Expertise. In response, knowing this is a problem, Cal casts an offer you can't refuse targeting Rishkar's expertise. Expertise is countered, and Brandon creates two treasures. Next, Brandon casts Soul's Majesty, targeting Marwyn, drawing 13 cards. He casts Stony Strength, targeting Marwyn, and giving her a plus one plus one counter and untapping her. He casts Return of the Wild Speaker, drawing 14 cards. He casts Coveted Jewel. It enters, and he draws three. He casts Burst of Strength, targeting Marwyn, giving her a counter and untapping her. He casts Recycle. He casts a Soul Ring. Recycle triggers, and he draws a card. He casts Witch's Web, targeting Marwyn. Recycle triggers, and he draws again. Marwyn then gets plus three, plus three, and untaps. Brandon casts Genesis Wave, where X equals 28. Recycle triggers, and he draws. He reveals the top 28 cards of his library. He puts Staff of Domination and Umbral Mantle onto the battlefield and the rest into his graveyard. He casts Sudden Spinneret, targeting Marwyn. Recycle triggers, and he draws. Then Marwyn gets plus one, plus three, gets a reach counter, and untaps. 
He taps Marwyn for 18 green. He activates Staff of Domination to untap Marwyn. He activates the Staff to untap itself. He uses this loop to create infinite mana. He presents another loop of activating the Staff to draw a card until he has one card left in his library. He presents another loop of activating the Staff to gain infinite life. He casts Aether Flux Reservoir, drawing through Recycle. He activates Aether Flux Reservoir, targeting each player to deal 50 damage to them, and Brandon wins the game. Wow, what an incredible set of games. Congrats to Sean and Brandon on their wins tonight. In game one, Sean showed the power of a new commander to keep drawing cards, removing threats, and threatening life totals at the same time. In game two, Brandon demonstrated just how fast Marwin can get out of hand with a blazing fast turn two win. The most valuable card in tonight's games, sponsored by Luxury Playstyle, goes to Marwin the Nurturer. Tonight Brandon showed that Marwin can either explode out of the gates or play the long game. Even when everyone was out of gas, all it takes is one good draw to get Marwin going and can end the game at any time. Well that about wraps it up for this episode. Tune in next time and we duke it out to see who will be king of the competitive EDH table. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you next time.